Yeah. Uh, now I have uh, Persona 3 Portable for uh, Nintendo Switch. Yeah. I have P3P for Nintendo Switch. And I just want to give a brief overview of it because uh, it's not very good. And I don't think you should buy it. So basically, if you didn't know, Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden got modern console ports, as well as, in Golden's case, a free Steam update for the game that adds new features such as quick save, uh, uh, that album feature, and... Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, it also adds... Yeah, that's about it. So basically... What I'm going to talk about with Persona 3 Portable is essentially everything I want to like basically overview about the port. I'm not going to review the actual game. As it hasn't been that long since I completed it. Plus, I don't even have a script finished. I have one in the works, but it's definitely nowhere close to being finished. I intend for that video to be longer than any other video I've ever made. So basically, P3P, let's just talk about uh, the, uh, the backgrounds in P3P. So essentially, they look like shit, obviously. But then you have the issue where you have these good-looking portraits. They're based off of the initial sketches, and while they don't... They aren't really... They're based off of the original sketches that Soejima made back in, like, 2005 or six, maybe. Maybe even 2008 or nine. Whenever P3 and P3P are getting their bust-ups done... Uh, so basically, yeah, that's what they are. They're basically, they recolor them, and essentially, what I'm saying is they made the bust-ups, like, with actual, like, effort, but they didn't put that same effort into making new ba backgrounds, because these backgrounds literally look like they were done on Waifu 2X. Like, in fact, I'm gonna show you a picture, a screenshot of Persona 3 Portable, and then that same background ripped from the PSP version using Waifu 2X like two times. You'll see the difference right here. I'll edit in post as I'm recording this without a script, obviously. But yeah, Persona 3 Portable, the backgrounds look like shit. And let's not even talk about the fucking sound effects. The sound effects literally sound like they were coming out not of a PSP. No, no. No, if you've played Persona 3 Portable on the PSP, or even on a fucking emulator, you'll know that the sound in this port literally sounds like 10 times worse than P3P could ever, on, on PSP, could ever even dream of sounding like. It, the sound effects literally sound like they were, like, they're from, like, fucking S SNES these sound effects sound like they're coming out of an SNES speaker and not a PSP one that's how bad they sound it's like this game put all its effort into the music files which aren't even that high quality to begin with they're still the same ADX files from Persona 3 Portable on PSP, and if you don't know what an ADX file is, it's essentially a cry middleware format for audio. That's all I'm going to say about them. And now I want to talk about the include, essentially, what they did with the menus. So essentially, yeah, they look basically almost the same, just upscaled. Obviously, there are some font changes that I'm not too fond of. But I still tolerate nonetheless. And then there's fucking. There's first we have the uh, elemental icons. They look like absolute shit. And then you have the battle menu, 
which is obviously upscale. Look at the personas. Look at the persona fucking font. Uh, whatever. Look at the persona icon. When you want to switch your persona, it looks like trash. I'll, I'm putting a v- screenshot of it up close. It's literally dog shit. Like I don't. I don't even want to like. I don't even want to show it because it looks like trash, but I want you to witness this absolute fucking atrocity. And then there's... And then they're like... Not only... Okay, I'm delving back into the sound topic. The await... Not only did the fucking extreme compression in this port make all sounds sound like shit no 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 it made the it made the persona summoning sound effect sound like it literally you know how lego games when you like kills when you like break something or you like kill an enemy they sound like legos falling that's what the fucking awakening sound sounds like now not like you just shot yourself. And honestly, it's a little more funny like that. And yeah, I fucking hate P3P. The remaster, the game in of, in of itself isn't bad. It's not like they change anything drastically with this remaster. In fact, they change nothing gameplay wise with this remaster besides adding quick save functions and that's literally it. That's it. There's nothing else. In fact, they couldn't even think of something unique to have the save system look like. No, no. They just took the the system data, the system save function. They just basically took what the PlayStation Portable has, like system data. The system save data. The system save menu. And they basically... Pers- they basically just took what it looked like, what P3P system save menu looked like on the PSP, and they just made that P3P. They just put that. They just put that in the remaster, and then they have, and then they think this is worth the same price as the original. I mean. It's not like P3P was worth $40 at launch, which is why they cut it down to 20 later on in its light in its release. But it's not like this remaster is worth 20 bucks. This remaster isn't even worth 10. I could probably consider it being worth $5, but anything under Anything above $5 is way too much for this fucking joke of a remaster. If you can, I suggest you pirate this if you want to fucking play P3P. And if you want to support the developers for some fucking reason, buy one of their other games. You don't have to support Atlas by buying P3P specifically. Persona 4 Golden's out, and that's a good port, because it was built off of something that was already good. You see, with P4G, the assets weren't even that bad. First off, you had high-quality voice acting from the Vita version, and let's just realize that these assets are higher quality, too, on, on PS Vita than they are on the PS2, so all you just gotta do is just... You can even waifu 2x them. Like, it, it's really easy just waifu 2x them. They're not even low quality at this play, at this point. You just take them from 512 by 512 on the PS Vita to 4 to 1024 by 1024 on the PC. There's not much you can't you can do with these HD textures, you know? Cause like P3. P3 is a different story. That's a that's a 240p game. This was meant to be viewed at 480 by 272 resolution on the PSP. So when you upscale these textures, they look they now look like they were designed 
they now look like you just fucking waifu 2x them with no effort no cleaning up the no cleaning up anything no nothing it's how lazy this remaster is it's how lazy it all looks this remaster is a product of being cheap and lazy because one if you've actually cared about persona when it comes to the fan base all you've seen is fucking p3 remake discussion listen I, I support the idea of a Persona 3 remake, but in this time period where Atlas could be developing Persona 6. You know, what I think they did here was the, the you see Persona 6, right? Yeah, it's been in development for what? Maybe at the very least three years or four years by now. It probably started development somewhere around the time P5R was finishing up. Or maybe it was in development alongside P5R, but still hasn't come out because these games take time to make. But Persona 3 Portable, Persona 3 Portable was probably made to divert suspicion that there will be no Persona, that will be a Persona 3 remake announced this year. What I don't want is for them to announce a Persona 3 remake this year, because if you know anything about me at all, like, if you've been following, like, my Twitter and shit, just read my username and look at the leaks for October, and you'll basically get a... And then look at, like, some screenshots, some... some Look at some video images I posted, like, scroll down a little, look at what I've reposted. There is a P3 Nightfall account that I've created as a fan project. P3 Nightfall is a fan project that doesn't even go by that name anymore. It is a fan project. I, I, I don't expect anyone. I don't expect Atlas to release a remake of a game that is how old? 17 in the current modern day. I don't expect them to release a game that is 17 years old in the current modern day. At this point, there is no point in hoping for a Persona 3 remake. There is no point. There's no point in it. You know why? Because it's a fucking P3 remake. That's going to take way more time and resources and effort out of P6. And, you know, if they make a, P a Persona 3 remake, you know how P6 is going to turn out? It's going to look as if it was cheap, rushed, unfinished. Because all their time and resources were put into the P3 remake. You see, when Atlas remakes a product, usually they remake it on that engine. On a, on Persona 3's engine. On the previous game's engine. Or like a port of that game's engine to modern consoles. They're not using Persona 5's engine with a remake like this. Atlas is done. With these, with these proprietary engines, with these in-house engines, they're not making any in-house engines anymore. They're not working with their in-house engines aside from ports. If there were to be a Persona 3 remake, it would be made in Unreal Engine 5 or maybe Unity. Whatever version they're using at this point. But they wouldn't... Listen, do you think SMT5 was built on an in-house engine? Do you think Soul Hackers 2 was not was built on an in-house engine? Do you think Nocturne HD was built on the original engine just with higher resolution textures? No. Nocturne and Soul Hackers 2 were built on Unity. SMT5 was made using Unreal Engine 4. Persona 6 is gonna use Unreal Engine 5. A remake, if even if a Persona 3 remake was in development. It would be using Unreal Engine 5, same engine as Persona 6. You know what they're doing? You know what Sega is doing at this point? They're migrating to, propri to, migrating to proprietary engines. They're migrating to Unreal Engine. They're migrating to Unity. They're migrating to all these engines. They're not using their proprietary engines anymore. Like, look at fucking the Yakuza or Like a Dragon series. They had a proprietary engine that they were using 
up until 2021. Lost Judgment was their last game to use that engine. And now, in fact, they were using proprietary engines since Monkey Ball. M- Monkey Ball Mania. Banana Mania. Do, do you, they were using it since fucking Banana Mania. Probably even Banana Splits HD. These games are built for... These games are not being made on modern, on in-house engines anymore. The only series that is using in-house engines by Sega is Sonic. But, like, I don't even know why. They're not making a Persona 3 remake. They're not... There's no point in making a P3 remake. They already have this, which is a disgusting abomination of a remaster. Do you think they would make a Persona 3 Portable? A Persona 3 Portable just to announce, just to promote a Persona 3 remake? No. No. Do you think Persona 4 Golden was made with the intention that a remake would be following shortly? Do you think Persona 4 Golden on PC was ported just so people could expect a remake of that soon? No. No, P4G was built specifically for just to promote the series, have people get into it, not for some arbitrary fucking remake that didn't even need to happen in the first place. Do you know how polished P4 is? Do you know how accessible that thing is? P3 might deserve a remake in some extent, but... Not to the point of using resources, time, effort, and resources, money, and money into making a Persona 3 remake when they could be putting all that into P6. I feel like that's why they made P3P at all. That's why they ported it. It's so that, well, one, people were asking for it for years. Two, they want to fucking silence these remake rumors, but still. But still, these people still keep fucking talking about P3 Remake. P3 Remake. Shut the fuck up. Listen. P3P is is as lazy as they're getting. They're not going to make a remake of an already existing shit game. Already existing shit remaster because this is their current cash cow. They're not going to fucking make a P3 Remake. Don't even expect it. Sick of this. This is the end of the video. Make sure, if you watch to the end, which is very rare for my videos, please. I I thank you, I thank you. Please, if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, whatever. Just do something.